Hey, what's up, y'all? Clean Cuts the One back with another video. Um, it is 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, very first appointment was a no call, no show. A little bit disappointed by that, but not too much. That's part of that's part of uh, what it means, you know, to be the early morning guy. To understand people are gonna um, cancel and whatever. I'm not too twirled about it. I am kind of sad. I mean, I wanted to see the client. Uh, the fact that it was their second uh, missed appointment might have to put them on walk-in restriction. Um, so anyways, I wanted to take the opportunity to create a video for you guys. And a lot of you guys were asking to um, see the barber shop, and then I've also got an announcement. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of the barber shop, which is really just one big room minus the bathroom back in the back. Um, and then take you on a tour of my station, show you what it is that I'm dealing with. So let's see, let's go outside and see. Maybe I'll step out here and find that my appointment's just waiting and no uh, that's not actually the case all right so as you can see like i said it's 7 a.m you can barely see um but this is razor sharp barber shop i'm the only one here right now uh, i'm usually the first one and everybody else usually comes in at eight a little bit after that um so when you look in the barber shop this is what you will see um and don't be judgmental about the condition. We had some hour after after hours appointments last night. And uh, usually what we'll do is if we have some crazy, crazy late appointments, you know, we'll, we'll clean up and stuff like that. We'll do a lot of the major cleaning like I did uh, in the morning. Fix that lighting there. Okay. Yeah, so like for me this morning I came in and I did uh, a ton of my cleaning um, in the morning because I was just real tired. You're talking about a 13-hour work day. It's very common. Um, so that was how it went but uh you can see we've got our couches over there for everybody to wait in uh we also have the chairs in the middle um and then that's one side and then you can see behind me other side now we've only got two stations this is my station as you can see it says tyler right there clean cuts then we got another barber station over there and then we've got a barber over here and a barber over here uh, we've got two extra stations that there's no barbers at. Um, we're really good with four right now. I don't know if Josh wants to, you know, add barbers when he wants to, but when it's time to add, we can't add. So, uh, as you can see, this is my station. Got my chair, that Coke in. I can't wait to get that thing restored and re-chromed. It's going to be great. It's going to look fantastic in Clean Cut Grooming Lounge, and this is my station. So. Let's go on a tour of the station show you what I got in here. Here is my station. I've got the uh, lights cut out. I've got some really good lighting in here. Uh, and I guess you can buy these at like Lowe's and Home Depot. They just plug into outlets. Really good lights if you're looking for, uh, you know, a quick way to light efficiently. Uh, so anyways, there's my station, my coking. Um, I keep my steamer right here. I offer uh, the steaming services with my, uh, with my shaves. Uh, obviously, you always want to have your travel kit ready to go. Um, and then he's got these awesome toolboxes. I'm really thinking Clean Cut Grimming Lounge is going to have toolboxes because I'm very, very, very fond of the toolbox concept. It's big. There's room for everything. Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead. Now, I use the Style Seat booking app, but when I get new appointments, I write them down so that way I don't have to open the app and I can call the names of my next appointments. Um, you know find out if they're sitting here a lot of times I, I recognize my clients but sometimes I have a lot of new appointments so I don't recognize my clients so I have to go and look um, I've got my old combs which I'm about to change these out uh, and I keep my new combs in a jar like this which is cool I got this babyless pro uh, from the TBS online supply store you got your neck strips you got your sharps container um, I love having cordless options for everything I love using cordless tools for kids I do turn my chair to do my work, but a lot of times I work around my chair. So I like cordless options to have just in case I want to use those. Um, definitely love these. These are for my kids. Uh, these are quote unquote hitters. Everybody knows about the ZR and what they are. This is the Flaresol bottle. I don't see any reason to have a regular spray bottle when these are in existence. Uh, and you can see my products. I do retail, lay right. Uh, you got to have oil sheen, you know, alcohol. I actually have elegance here but as you can see it's all the way back in the back and I'm not using it 
Uh, I'm currently talking to Jay Ramos uh, about his shaving gel. Shout out to Jay Ramos. Uh, this stuff is legit. I'm actually trying out his whole line of products, uh, contemplating distribution. Um, but he sent me these. Shout out Jay Ramos. If you haven't tried this, uh, I'm really heavy in the shave gel. Um, and the, the pomade is, I, I've used the shine. He also has a mat here. He sent me his whole line. Check his stuff out. It's really good. Uh, this is the alcohol that I have and then I want to show you another product that I had sent to me that is That I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying a lot This is uh, champagne groomings uh, pomade. They have a shine and they have a matte and uh, it smells kind of like a, uh, a grapefruit fruit type thing um, It's more of a I'm gonna call it a Feminine scent, but not in a negative way like a fruity scent it does have like a masculine cologne scent um, but it does hold really well. It's got a really strong hold and I've enjoyed using that. So shout out to Champagne Grooming. Be sure to check them out. I'm not sure what the website is, but I'm pretty sure if you Google Champagne Grooming, you're going to find it. This is the trophy. I'm real proud of this. This is my first trophy that I ever got in a fade competition. It's a third place trophy, um, but it was also the first competition I ever entered. And it was in the uh, best fade category at the Pro Beauty Show this year. So... Um, you can see I've got my Barber Love neoprene mat uh, under my shears and my combs. Combs. I never thought combs were so important until I found these carbon joints. Um, huge difference. Huge difference. I got my Ava Razor, my shears, uh, Tagliente Shear Company. Shout out to them for sending me these shears. I'm still looking for uh, my favorite shear, but these are definitely effective. Uh, shout out Chad Potts in Indianapolis. And then these are my icon shears. Uh, I pretty much stick with the Tagliente because these icons went dull pretty fast. Keep my guards uh, right there. And what I'm cutting with, oh, also from my uh, straight razor shaves with the steamer, charge extra because I use premium tools, premium equipment, premium service. So I use my feather razor for um, the shaves. Those razors are a dollar. So. Uh, here's the razors that I use. I use the Dorco Prime Platinums. Uh, they're good. Don't have any issues. I hear a lot of people complaining about the razors that they use. I don't have any. I balled out with balding clippers. I'm currently on my masters for fading. Uh, these are the best cordless clippers in the game. These are better than Magic Clips. I'm just going to say that. I really enjoy using these. I am noticing that this lever seems to be going looser on me. Uh, but nothing like a wall senior or the magic clip. Um, and then these are my go-tos. These GTX. Love them over T-Outliners. These are my joints. Uh, I got the sponge. I'm a glove guy. I wear gloves when I cut. Uh, it is what it is. And then I've got clean cut grooming products. This is my beard oil, my beard balms. Um, you got to get into retail. You got to get into products. But this was all natural for me. I can't tell you how to create your own product because this was divinely inspired i never thought i was going to have my own product or my own beard oil so i just do um believer barber wristbands running out i'm gonna have to re-up on them uh they are available if you want a believer barber wristband go to www.cleancutgrooming.bigcartel.com this is a barber love um, detachable blade holder my mentor gave me this uh we're working on my detachable game right now so um it just kind of sits here until I start using it more. Uh, I keep books, reading material, the most important book in the entire world uh, that I own. Uh, and then this is a daily reflection, kind of keeps me uh, focused. Got to have books to read, man. You got to keep yourself on game. And these are, and I still need to read these. Shout out Dave Diggs. Shout out Al Reed. Um, stay supplies. Like I said, I retail. Uh, lay right. These are all my extra supplies. I got my color. Shout out uh, Jay the Barber. Easy Blade sent me that. It's good stuff. Um, you know, just different products. Oil, stuff like that. Then over here, I've got uh, my enhancements, my color. This is the stuff people make fun of me for. It's all good. Uh, down here, got my color bowl. A, uh, some extra blades. Charger cut kit styptic swabs if you don't know about these first of all check out the review if you act like you don't cut people then you don't need to know about this if you cut people with the razors you need people you need to know about these check them out and then 
right see i'm clearly on the cut kiss diptych swaps i got more enhancements more blades and then down here uh it's time to remake my beard oil and beard balm i keep my camera extra gloves charger and then my headrest for the coking so that was just a really 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 quick tour of my station like i said you guys were asking for it so i wanted to give it to you so now for the announcement um i'm really excited about this some of you guys might have saw it on Instagram Live, but January 7th, I'm headed to Tampa, Florida. I'm going to meet with Chris Bossio and um, 360 Jeezy, and there's going to be some other uh, barbers down there, Matt Gifted Hands. There's going to be several people down there, um, and we're going to be discussing some plans that we have. We're going to be um, providing value to our industry, and I'm very excited about it, so... Uh, stay tuned. It's going to be uh, in the Believer Barber documentary. Um, there will be previews. You guys will see it coming, but you heard it here second because you heard it first on Instagram Live. But I can't explain how excited I am about it. Uh, I'm low key overwhelmed, but not really because um, this is what I've been working really hard for. And this isn't the peak, this is a beginning. This is a peak and also a beginning. Um, what you call a paradox how's it going to be the beginning and the end at the same time um, you know there are seasons in life and I'm just moving into a new season 2017 is going to be a lot of work uh, you are going to be seeing a lot more of me and uh, I'm just very excited about it and I'm grateful to everybody that has participated in my journey along the way I definitely haven't done any of this on my own I didn't have a grand scheme of oh this is how I'm going to put myself out there because that's not what it's about for me it's about um, enhancing the quality and the value of our industry and being about being a stand-up member of my community in my city you know uh, I've told you that I, I took a lot away from the uh, the community that I live in uh, I just put a lot of negative out there and so I want to put out ten times more positive than I ever put out negative and uh, I'm I'm on my way thanks to people like you helping me thanks to uh, God first and foremost thanks to people like my wife and my kids for inspiring me and um, it's just it, it really is a beautiful life um, but these awesome blessings come with responsibilities um, I have been obedient to what God's telling me to do and the reward for obedience I'm finding is not rest it is more responsibility so I'm gearing up for a year of sacrifice I'm gearing up for a year of investment I'm gearing up for a year of providing value to the industry that I'm so passionate about and I know that everything else is going to take care of itself so there's the tour of my uh, of my shop. There is the announcement. Stay tuned. I'm feeling very inspired. And uh, so thank you for rocking with me. Go ahead and like the video. Give me that thumbs up. Hit a comment. Say something, whatever you're thinking. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Because remember, I got that 20K goal. So look forward to reaching it. Till next time, peace.